Greg Jasko, the chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, uh, joined me and I asked him when we can expect to see those new reactors come online. Well, the, the agency is working, uh, I think, through our, our process of reviewing applications uh, in a very, I think, effective and, uh, and, uh, and efficient manner, all, of course, focused on safety. And we're, we're getting to the end of our process, and probably sometime within the next year or 18 months, uh, we may be uh, making some final decisions, maybe issuing licenses uh, in that time frame. And those would be in the southern part of the United States? The, the most likely projects are, are, are projects in, in the southeast, uh, Georgia, South Carolina, uh, and potentially uh, in Texas. Um, talk to me, since you're up here in the financial capital, about the conversations you're having on Wall Street right now, about the willingness to finance some of these projects or to put money to work in some of the construction companies that are helping to build them, because there still is that safety worry overhang. Well, there, there seems to be a lot of interest in the existing fleet of reactors, uh, perhaps more than I've seen in the past. Uh, in the past when I've, I've come to talk to the Wall Street community, there has been a lot of interest in discussion about the new fleet, uh, but this time there seemed to be more of an interest on what's happening with the existing fleet. Will, mm -hmm. will existing plants uh, operate longer than their uh, 40 years of licensing or maybe beyond 60 years? So there seemed to be more of an interest in, uh, in looking at the existing assets and, and uh, keeping those operating. And of course, as a safety regulator, we're going to make sure that the focus is always on ensuring that those plants are safe and secure and they meet all our high standards. So w does interest also mean more willingness to put money to work in, in some of these projects, do you think? Well, I think that'll, that'll be interesting uh, to see. Uh, certainly, I think if you look at the new reactors, uh, we see uh, interest in probably a small handful of, of plants. Uh, right now, the agency is reviewing 13 applications for new nuclear plants in this country, but probably only uh, three or four of those are really uh, likely to move to construction uh, if they get their licenses. Um, so let's talk about the, the waste that's going to be um, pr produced as, as a result of that. There's a fair amount of controversy, in particular, over one of those sites in Nevada that would be a waste disposal area. You can Mountain, and as I know you know a lot about here, I know your agency has already voted on it. When are we going to hear whether that's going to be happening? Well, the, there's several aspects to our review of, of the Yucca Mountain uh, project. Uh, one of them involves a very uh, complicated legal proceeding. And just like judges in uh, federal courts, that's not something we can necessarily predict an outcome for, nor really discuss the details on. The other aspect of it is really some of our nuts and more nuts and bolts uh, uh, budget work and, and resource planning. And, and right now, we're focused on uh, a process of really closing down some of the review work uh, that we're doing. So how close are we to an announcement then, in the interest of transparency? Uh, I, again, it's probably not one I, I, I can you can't say even one give us a timeline on not that. Not really, because that gets us too close into uh, into kind of the discussions and the deliberations. But uh, it's certainly an issue that's important to the agency, and uh, and the commission is focused on it. What other options are there uh, besides this one one site? Where would the nuclear waste from these new plants theoretically go? Well, bottom line for for the NRC, we want to make sure that it's safe and secure wherever it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, we know that this this fuel can be maintained safely and securely at the reactor sites where it is, and and probably for decades or even more, uh, we know that that can be done safely and securely. So theoretically, in those same southern states where the reactors are being built? In, in those states, or even in, in the, the states where there's existing reactors right now, we're, we're looking at the possibility that some uh, reactors will get 20-year extensions to their life. Uh, some of them might even come in and ask for additional 20-year extensions. So there's really a, a long time before um, uh, we would likely see all of the reactors in the country uh, moving to a process of kind of reclaiming the land and, 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 and dismantling the, the reactors.